All right, gang, so we're in the water. We're fishing. Today is a nice sunny day, as you can tell, and I'm all by myself. I don't do many solo trips anymore, so it's kind of relaxing when I do. I don't have to worry about catching fish. So, since I don't have my fish finder today, I'm just gonna be going off of my past locations that I've caught halibut at. But supposedly, the halibut are back in the bay, so they're biting pretty good right now. Halibut fishing here in the bay is really hit or miss. We have some really good years, and we also have years where we catch a lot of small fish. So far this year, I've caught a lot of small fish. If you guys saw my last kayak halibut video, I caught like 15 shakers or something. It only caught one keeper. So that seems like the ratio right now. Fish on. Wow, that was quick, huh? start it's a pretty decent size it's not a keeper but start to the day. Halibut number one. Alright, where was I? I rudely got disrupted by that fish. So tip number one is to use a halibut spreader bar. And the reason why is it reduces tangles. And that allows you to have a lot more time to fish. A lot of beginners, when they fish for halibut, they're unsure of what their bait is doing. They don't know if it has seaweed on it, if something took their bait or not, or if their lines are tangled and they're just trolling around for nothing. So having a rig that you have a lot of confidence in that you know it won't tangle very easily is a good way to start. The spreader bar basically keeps my line far away from my weight so it doesn't tangle. But that's a good sign that there's halibut here. So that leads me to tip number two, which is when you catch a halibut, make sure you circle around over that spot again. Halibut like to hang out next to each other. You wouldn't think that they're schooling fish, but they actually like to hang out together. Right now is the end of breeding season for halibut. And halibut are broadcast spawners. They shoot their eggs into the water and the males and females need to be close together in order for the eggs to get pollinated. So basically what that translates to is when you catch one fish, most likely there's going to be another fish around there in the same area. So guys, when you're halibut fishing and you get that bite, you don't want to set the hook right away. If anything, you want to feed them a little bit of line or slow down your pedal. Allow them to really swallow that hook. After you see that rod go down and bend, then you can give it a little hook set if you want. But normally that's not necessary. You just do a nice slow wind. Sometimes these halibut, they hit it really hard. 
Sometimes they just put it in their mouths and they swim with it. The bite sometimes looks like it's uh, it's vibrating. Oh, it came off. That was a keeper. Dang. That was a keeper. He showed us where he lives, guys. He showed us where he lives. All right, guys. If I can get this halibut again, make sure to click the like button below. Got him again. I don't know if this is the same one though. It looks like a shaker. Oh look, he camouflages good with my tarp. So tip number three, when you're setting up your roll for your bait, unlike salmon, where they really like that tight roll, kind of like a drill bit, really tight, halibut like a little slower roll. They still like the roll, but they like it to be slower. So that means when you're pinning on your bait, don't put as big of a bend in there. Also, you don't want to go as fast when you're trolling. Um, anywhere from one mile per hour to two and a half miles per hour is ideal. Okay, and tip number four is to let your bait down really slowly so it doesn't tangle. And I do it foot by foot so that the bait has time to catch up with the weight. We're fishing in about 15 feet of water. And if you can see my line angle, it's almost completely straight down. That's because I'm using an eight to 10 ounce weight. And these halibut, they're not shy of your boat. So even though your line is directly underneath your boat, they're still gonna hit it. I like to keep it underneath my boat or at a 45 degree line angle. I feel like it's easier to bounce the weight rather than dragging it on the bottom. You have more control over your line. You can feel it a lot better. Come on, I wanna use this thing today. Come on. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. Sleepy. There we go. Look at that bite. <laughs> there we go. Size, they fight good. Relax, buddy.
come on, stick. There it is. Small guy though. Hey, this feels kind of heavy, guys. Maybe I can use my gaff. Ah. Fish on. borderline I don't want to gap him Oh, feels like a keeper.
Oh, I got him. That's a nice one, boys. That's a nice one. Look at him. I gaffed him through his head. boys nice nice halibut huh nice halibut